Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, you are going to get ready with me. We're trying out a full face of new makeup that I recently received or I bought. Some of it's brand new to the market, some of it is new to me. Just a mixture of new things. I love sitting down and getting ready with you guys. If you missed my haul, I just did a pretty large makeup haul on my channel. I was wearing this look in that video, meaning I'm filming this before I actually filmed that. But anyways, this is the look that I was wearing in that haul. These are items that I picked up from that haul make sure you check out that haul out to see what other new products I will be trying and without further ado let's get into the video all right hey so hi if you're new here my name is Morgan I'm a product knowledge enthusiast I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys and that is what this whole video is about it's just playing with new makeup some of this makeup is newly launched some of it is not but anyways it's new to me so the first product that I'm trying out is from Milani this is their supercharged dewy primer and this came out in their new supercharged collection now this isn't the first time that I'm using this product I used this yesterday as well so I can tell you a little bit about it it's very very hydrating it has a strong scent of orange so if you are sensitive to fragrance this is not gonna be for you but I love how it feels on my dry skin you guys it is so good it's a little bit thicker it leaves your skin feeling a little bit sticky which you may or may not like so if you're into you know like the milk hydro grip primer where it leaves your skin sticky it's not quite as sticky but it's a thicker layer I feel like it doesn't exactly Exactly blend or mix into the skin but I really like it it's really moisturizing so so far so good with this let's get into the foundation I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this as a foundation or a highlight that's what we're gonna try out so I did end up picking up the Marc Jacobs cafe extra shot it's described as a caffeine concealer and foundation so you can conceal and perfect it's supposed to have full coverage made in France okay let's try it out I picked up the shade light 180 and this collection so cute I'm gonna use the cheek palette in this as well I love Marc Jacob Beauty so the packaging you are getting it in a what is this a doe foot this is probably gonna have to be concealer right this looks really light so if you're my skin tone and you want to use this as foundation don't get light 180 I definitely feel like this is going to be a better concealer hmm but I do want to try it all over my face let me try it over my blemishes first and see how that blends in. I might go in with a different foundation. So if I like this, oh, okay, we can get that to blend into my skin. That's not a bad match, actually. Okay, so let's just do it. Now it feels a little bit thicker. Blend it in. Pretty good coverage. I know I'm gonna look like a ghost after this. It's fine. Now what's confusing me, I suppose, maybe not confusing, but you're supposed to be able to use this as a foundation and a concealer personally. And this is just coming from um, my artistry background. I don't like foundation and concealer to be the exact same shade. It just makes your face look a little less dimensional. I think I'm gonna use this as concealer and foundation, but I'm going to use a light powder just to create that dimension to the face. I think ideally this is more of a concealer color for me but I did want to try it out as foundation for this video or if I use it as foundation I would mix it you know with a foundation that's literally just a hair deeper but really not bad. I know it's really white. Let me turn my lights down. Yeah so you should be able to see everything a little bit better now. Honestly it looks really really nice very skin-like. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra focus in the areas that need it. This does provide a lot of coverage, honestly. It's not super full coverage, but it's like medium to high. I would say it has a little bit more of a dewy finish. I don't like the way it blends out. I feel like I have to press a little bit harder. It's not super liquidy, but she does give some coverage. Now, as far as the under eyes, I got this supercharged brightening under eye tint from Milani, and I used this yesterday again. I really like it. I I think this is really great for natural makeup days. You don't need to wear a concealer on top. I'm gonna try today with a concealer on top. The peach undertone is going to lighten up the blues and purples under the eyes and kind of conceal those, neutralize them. Just like that. You see, it doesn't provide much coverage, but it neutralizes a discoloration that you get underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna blend that in. Then I'm gonna use a touch of the concealer foundation we're just gonna be one color today it's fine we're gonna blend that out 
and the under eye brightener does not disrupt the concealer, which I really like. And this foundation's not covering the best on my nose for whatever reason. It looks smooth. It doesn't look textured like some foundations make it look. That looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. I really like how this is looking on my skin. I'm gonna do some eyebrows. So I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Longwear Brow Pencil. I already need to sharpen it. So I've been using this. It's a newer product to the market. Maybelline sent this to me and I'm not a big fan of it. I've been making it work but this is not going to be a regular part of my routine if you know what I mean but because it's newer to the market that I'd use it but I don't really recommend it I think that there's way better brow pencils on the market because this doesn't really give you a smooth application it's kind of chunky and uneven I don't know if you guys can see that there you really have to use the spoolie on the other side to make it look more natural so use a light hand because it gets uneven looking really quickly and use that spoolie to blend everything out and make it look more natural yeah see there's really no way with this product of getting my eyebrows to look good they don't look sharp anymore i'm gonna use a little bit of the marc jacobs concealer foundation thingy again i'm going to try and clean it up so that it looks nice that looks better we can deal with that eyebrows are definitely sisters today and not twins but that's okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Bare Light to set my under eyes. Not a new product, obviously, but I don't have a new powder to try today. You saw in my haul that I did get a lovely PR package from Haley's Beauty. I'm really excited to try their products. I've tried a, a couple of their face products so far. So they sent these foundation sticks that you can also use as like contour and highlights. I'm gonna use them today as contour. I used it like this yesterday, but I'm gonna try a different shade. This is 6.5. It's a little bit yellow, I think, for me to use as, hmm, not bad. We're just, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna blend it in with my sponge. A little bit warmer than I would prefer, but as you can see, it blends in so beautifully. And I used the shade 7.25 yesterday, which you can see is a lot darker, which is why I wanted to try the lighter shade today. But so far, you guys, I'm really enjoying the Haley's Beauty products. I first heard about these products because of Juicy Jazz. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and she loves their base products. So I was so excited to give them a try. And so so far I've not been disappointed. I've tried their liquid foundation and I really enjoy that and I really like this what is this? Stick foundation. I just wanted to show you how easily that blended. So I'm really liking this. You know I had to get this. So I'm a big coffee person. And when I saw this coffee packaging from Marc Jacobs, I had to get it. So this is the Tantastic Glow. Listen, Marc Jacobs, I guess it's not an underrated brand, but I feel like they don't get enough love still. They're just so good. So this is what the trio looks like. I haven't gotten the chance to use it yet. So we're going to go in with my refer number five brush they just restocked if you're interested in buying some of their newer brushes going into that bronzer which i believe is just the tamtastic bronzer it looks a bit lighter in the pan but i love it and this is going to kind of neutralize what we have going on right now because that specific color from Haley's beauty is a bit too yellow on me and so the mark jacobs is coming in to neutralize that and it has the scent of that beach coconutty smell to it that the tam fantastic bronzer has which you might not like it but i love that Whew, we got some definition on the face now then we're gonna go in with the blush right here i'm using a morphe y9 brush that is such a pretty blush i mean i didn't expect any less from marc jacobs what a beautiful palette she's pricey but so far so good let's try this highlight out this is just kind of like a great blushy rosy tone i'm using a kaleidos h2 brush and i might very well go over a different highlighter later but i do want to try this it's very very gold oh well, that's pretty it's a little bit more soft. It's not the most flattering for my skin tone. I, I think this will work better on more medium complexions as opposed to my light medium skin tone. It does add that very natural glow that you guys can see. So this is okay. The highlighter is definitely not my favorite part in this trio, but it definitely like gets the job done, you know. I wouldn't be mad just carrying this in my makeup bag and only having this as a highlighter, but definitely some other 
formulas I prefer because it is emphasizing texture a little bit more than some other formulas that I have and it's just not applying seamlessly onto the skin as I normally like my highlighters to do. So we'll probably go over it with a different highlighter later, but that was fun. Okay, I have been dying, literally dying to try this palette, okay? I haven't had the time to, but I finally get to use the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. This is a collaboration palette with Angelica Nikis, and look at this. Oh my goodness. So this is very kindly gifted to me and these are Angelica's colors. Oh my goodness. Angie, this is you in a palette. Now I did say in my, I think I was, I did like a shopper drop and I was a little intimidated by the colors. They aren't my kind of color story, but they're definitely hers. So I, Angie, I hope I do you proud with this tutorial. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to do some color today. I don't want it to be too obnoxious because I have a pretty neutral kind of look going, but hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the look off camera and then I'll come back and we'll do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just prefer to do it that way, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Just an update from this side, this palette is fire. Kaleidos already has a great formula and the color story cohesiveness, I'm so impressed by. So we're gonna start off with this shade right here. Great, cool tones color, perfect to go with all of the other colors that are in this palette. So I'm gonna start off by using windshield wiper motions. We're gonna just blend her out. The shade is a little bit more on the powdery side, so you will get a lot of kickback in the paint. So just be prepared for that. And don't be afraid to go overboard with this color because it really is a great back shadow for this look. And along the lower lash line as well. Now we're getting into it. Now we're gonna get a little bit more intricate. We're gonna do raw copper right here. This is such a unique shade. I really like it. I don't have another shade in my collection that looks like this. And look at this. This is on Kaleidos end, this formula. So pigmented, just be careful. So I'm patting the color down. I'm using a Wayne Goss number six brush, by the way, and then use the top of that brush. We're gonna blend it just a little bit. Now with this style of look, blending is not the end all be all. Cause you're layering shadows on top and I'm gonna put a little bit just down here as well. Get her a little smoky. See already, just with those two shades, you have the most beautiful smoky eye. Taking a really small brush, we're going into the deep plum shade right here. So we're really mostly working with the middle row for this look. I just love the colors that she chose here and this is gonna add a little bit more depth. I'm not doing too much with this shade really just to add more depth to the eye. And I decided that I really wanted hints of blue. So we're gonna go in with Void right here, which is a deep navy. And again, use this color sparingly, but I'm just putting it on the inner and outer corner to invite some blue to this look. And then I'm going about halfway into my lower lash line like so, and then work those edges. So it looks really cohesive. This eye is looking so much better than it this eye because I know what I'm doing for this look now. Yes. I just love what we laid down here with these mattes and they're hard colors to work with typically for these types of shades. And you can see we have such a well blended look right now. It's so impressive. All right, get ready. Going in with Astro. Now Kaleidos does an amazing job with their glittery formulations. It really is a way to get Pat McGrath-esque kind of looks while not breaking the bank. That's why I love and recommend this brand so much is it's just a little bit more affordable to get that kind of a galactic glittery look and then use that blue brush that you used just to add some cohesion there you're my only hope now it's kind of getting whitened out but you can see it has a little bit of a purple tint to it but really we're just putting that right in the center just to brighten everything up i'm just using my finger yup and then that original brush that you used for the gray transition color just haze everything out let the glitters spread everywhere just let it happen i mean isn't this so pretty. And then to finish off, I'm gonna use Astro, which is that first glittery blue that we use. I'm putting it right over top, going about halfway. I love a glittery lower lash line. I think it looks so pretty. And finally, we're using Nova, which is like a purple bluish duochrome kind of shade. Pulls this whole look 
together. So obviously Angie did a fantastic job with the color story of this palette. I'm very big about a color story having a lot of cohesion and just being able to create looks easily and I really feel like everything has its place in here. There's a purpose for it. Everything looks really good and then on Kaleidos Zen, I mean as always they killed it with the formula. Absolutely beautiful. Now I did want to use a different highlighter on top because this ain't cutting it for this. So I got a very kind PR pack Package from Aether Beauty. This is a new brand that I'm trying. They're a very eco-friendly brand. And this is in the shade Pure Diamond Dust. Okay, let's just, let me see. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna add a little bit more something something because the Marc Jacobs highlighter, I'm kind of eh about. The palette itself was very nice, but the highlighter, sis, we need something more. Yup. And Aether Beauty did it. It's a little bit more sparkly and glittery, which I really like for this particular look. So this was the way to go. This highlighter is stunning. Now this does emphasize texture because it is so blinding and glittery, but it's just what I needed for this look. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do liner, I'm gonna do lashes, and then we'll be back, finish the lips, and then round up all of the products. So liner and lashes are all on. It's time to move up to lips and ultimately I was digging through my collection. I decided to go with the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the shade 102 and so they, I cannot believe they sent me a PR package but oh my goodness I've never tried these before. I've tried a lot from Armani but not these and they're kind of a classic product so I feel like this would be a good color. Not bad. Mm, a little bit warmer than I wanted. We're gonna try a different one. This is the shade 213. Cause that color pulled warmer than I wanted it to. This one's much better. It has a mauvey undertone to it. Not quite plum. It's a little deeper than I wanted, but that's okay. These are super comfortable. Wow. I love the formula of this. It's really comfortable and moisturizing. I do wish it was a bit lighter for this specific look, but that's okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Pari Lip glossy in the shade birthday suit. This is such a cute, sweet little lip gloss. I used this yesterday and I really like it. It's very, very sheer. You can see. Mm, it smells like cake. Just gonna add a little bit of shine to it. Note, wear time update. Mm, it, there's a lot of, Jose's working out in the background. <laughs> The wear, I, I'm convinced the gloss caused the Giorgio Armani liquid lip to fade and feather everywhere. It was not a good mix. I have to go back and look at that lip gloss. I don't know, is it an oil-based lip gloss? Because it destroyed the lip color. I'm convinced. I could be wrong, but I wanted to update you on that. So this is it. Let me zoom out and kind of show you the whole look. All right, and here is the final look. I love it. It looks so cool. Oh no. And here's the final look. I really love it. Obviously, it's not the typical look that I wear, but I do love playing with some color every once in a while, and this is stunning so quickly. Let's go over the products that I used today and my final thoughts. So we started off with the Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer. This was really nice. It's great for moisturizing skin, but if you don't like fragrance and you don't like the feeling of your skin being sticky with a base, then you won't like it. But I think it's really nice, especially for a drugstore product. The Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Foundation and concealer. So far, I'm really liking it. I definitely need to test the wear time, so I will make a note down below in the description box for you guys to let you know how it wore. But it does seem to be a versatile product. I do think I prefer the consistency for concealer because it's a bit too thick for me foundation-wise, though I will say it does look really nice as a foundation. It's not sinking in, into any lines so far, so I'm liking it. I think it's really nice. I'll have to keep you updated, but first impressions, really good. Haley's Beauty Foundation Sticks, I'm really liking so far. 7.25 is what I prefer more as far as contour. It's a bit too deep, but I think the tone is a little better. The shade 6.5, I mean, this is an actual foundation color for somebody, but as an actual like contour color, it's a bit too warm and yellow for what I normally prefer. The Marc Jacobs Tantastic Glow Trio from their new collection is stunning. I don't think it's a necessity. I don't love the highlights, and since you're only getting three colors for such a pricey product, not loving all three can definitely be a turnoff. The bronzer is beautiful, the blush is beautiful, the highlight is okay, so that's up to you to decide if you like it. If you prefer more of a subtle highlighter, you might like this, or if you have more of a medium skin tone, I think 
it'll be great. So I really like it. I don't love it though. It's not the most perfect product. Oh, I almost forgot the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in the shade Peach. I really like this so far. I think I prefer it for more natural makeup days. I kind of just like it on its own just to neutralize those blue tones underneath my eyes. And it's really lightweight. It doesn't disrupt the concealer. So if you are into color correcting and you want something really lightweight and moisturizing, I think you will like this. The Aether Beauty Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighter. This is beautiful. Normally when I think of like sustainable, natural, clean makeup brands, I don't think of like glam products, but this is a glam highlighter and I really love it. I think it's pretty for a little bit of extra glitter on the cheek. So I'm really liking this product a lot. We tried the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette in collaboration with Angelica Nikas and it's a beautiful palette. If you think you're going to wear these colors, you will really enjoy the quality that Kaleidos is bringing to you and it's a unique color story. And I feel like for a lot of us, it's going to fill a void of colors that we don't have in our collection. It's a very unique palette. You don't see a lot of palettes like this with this color story on the market. So she really went there. She did a great job bringing color into our lives and the quality is really great as well. Last two products, I tried out my very first Armani Lip Maestro product. Not a new product by any means, but so far so good. Like I said, a little bit deeper than what I would prefer, but I really do like the formula. It's so comfortable. And then the Kapari Lip Glossy in Birthday Suit. Just a really great lightweight lip gloss. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but there's nothing bad about it. Super moisturizing, you know? All right, there we have it. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.